Thank you for listening to this guided meditation from One Mind Dharma. You can visit www.onemindadharma.com for more information about us. Today we're going to do a practice in mindfulness of thoughts or the thinking mind. Although we often think of thoughts as a hindrance to practice, we can actually include them. So we'll start by just allowing our eyes to close and beginning to settle into a posture that feels both comfortable and sustainable. Checking in with the body and just for now letting go of what you think you should be doing or how you think you should be sitting and really listening to the body. Are there places where you can soften? Does it feel beneficial to sit up straighter? I like to use the breath to aid in this practice, breathing in and lifting the spine up, bringing some energy into the body. And as you exhale, softening, allowing the belly to relax, the shoulders to drop, releasing any tension in the jaw. With the breath, inviting in both energy and alertness and relaxation and ease. And you can bring your attention to a place in the body where you can feel the breath naturally. The center of the chest or abdomen, the nostrils, maybe the shoulders. And for a few minutes here, we'll just cultivate a collected mind. So you can imagine picking up all of your attention and placing it here on this one point in the body. Really being with each inhale and exhale, each rise and fall or in and out. And I encourage you to use a simple noting in your mind, in, out, rise, fall, Tuning into the experience of the body breathing.
When you, when the mind wanders off, just simply bringing it back. Doesn't matter if it's been analyzing, off in fantasy land, whatever is going on just for now, coming back to the breath in the body. Recognizing that it's these moments that strengthen this ability to collect the mind, to concentrate in and out. And you, you can begin to open your awareness up, but staying with the breath as the anchor, perhaps even staying with that noting of in and out. And you don't need to force anything to happen, make anything arise, but begin to tune in to what's going on in the mind. Noticing any thoughts coming and going. Maybe a general mental state of ease or anxiety, restlessness or sleepiness, curiosity. Remembering that the practice here is gentle and about observation. If no thoughts are arising in this moment, just staying with the breath, patiently awaiting the mind to do its thing. And as the thoughts or mental states arise, simply recognizing their presence and leaving them be, not hooking in or attaching, allowing them to float by like bubbles.
you may tune into specific aspects of the thinking mind. Maybe the Vedana of the experience. Is the thought or mental state pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral? Does the thought feel visual or auditory? Is it something you're picturing in the mind or thought that you're hearing? Patiently observing the thinking mind with some curiosity. We all know that we think, but tuning into the actual experience we're having of thinking. What thoughts are arising and passing in this moment? And for these last few minutes, I want to encourage you to offer some metta toward the thinking mind. Two simple phrases. May my mind be at ease. May I be at ease with my mind. May my mind be at ease 
May I be at ease with my mind. Just repeating these phrases with the intention of cultivating a more friendly relationship with the thinking mind. Mm-hmm. 